Welcome back. Let's welcome in Hall of Famer and the new head coach of the University of Colorado, Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. Coach, you said in the past that the night before you would have to cover Jerry Rice, you'd get a terrible night's sleep. You look fantastic. You look well rested tonight. I assume that means you weren't nervous to come on the Manning cast tonight. Uh, well, first of all, the Mannings, both the Mannings have gotten the best of me, the best of my teams that I played with. So I, I'm not, you know, it's not a football involved in this conversation. So I'm good. We could talk about it, but we're not, we don't have to play. And you know, I love me some Eli. I love me some Eli. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I know that. I know that. I knew that when I was playing. You might have been the only one that loved me in the media, uh, Coach. And so I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, like, like Peyton said, you're the new head coach at Colorado after three amazing seasons at Jackson State. And some people say that, you know, great players struggle as coaches because they can't relate to the players who aren't as talented as they are. But you've had a ton of success. What's been the key for you as a coach? Well, uh, getting uh, a great staff. First and foremost, getting a great staff that can, uh, that is unbelievable, that can really uh, come up strong where I'm short. Also getting kids that are smart, tough, fast, and disciplined with character. That has been the biggest asset. Coach, there's a show called Coach Prime. It's uh, streaming on Prime Video. It followed you and your team from this past season. We have a clip from one of your halftime speeches. I want to show it here in a minute. We'll do it after this play. Well, I want to see what's going on in this darn game. Yeah, I want to yeah. see what's going on in this darn game. It, I'm a Brady. I'm a Brady guy, man. And it, it's hard to pick against Brady, but it's no way that the Cowboys should relinquish this game uh, with the depth and the talent that they have. There's no way. But I, I, I believe in Tom. There you go. Not looking good for Dak early on, is it? We're trying to make history. And y'all think it's a game. It ain't no darn game to me. This is real. Don't pay another darn note. They don't they earn it. Coach, is this, a, is this a little window into your coaching style that we should expect in Colorado? <laughs> I think we were actually up by 20 at halftime at, at that point, but we, we, weren't, we, we, weren't, we weren't as dominant as we were supposed to be. And uh, I come in and, you know, music at halftime, I don't want to hear that mess, man. Let's lock in and focus. Uh, sir, like I'm, I'm different. I'm old school. We grew up old school, man. You know, our fathers, our coaches, old I love school. It. I love it. I love it. We need that. We need that. Stay with us, Coach. We've got a commercial coming up here. I want to talk a little bit about, about Tom and talk about this Cowboys defense a little bit, too. So stay with us. Get some, get some first downs, Eli. Come on, huh? Yeah, first downs get nice. Punts. Too many punts. All right, welcome back. Buzz got the ball. We still got Coach Deion Sanders with us. Coach, you mentioned Tom Brady earlier. You never got to face him on the field, but you went against a lot of great quarterbacks. Really? This question, as a coach, if you were going up against Tom Brady from a game plan standpoint, what would you do to try to slow him down? Uh, you got to you got to flush him out. First of all, you got to bring pressure up the middle and try to get Tom to move and get off that darn spot. Um, they, they they used to say that about the great Peyton Manning, <laughs> but you know. Peyton was so darn smart. You, those guys are so smart. You were so smart that it was during the pre-snap. You, you knew where you were going with the darn ball. And it, with Tom, it, it's that same way. And you, you can't show your hand. And there's only so many darn coverages you can run. And the safeties give every darn thing away or the linebackers. So it, it's a complex game, but it's very simplistic. Coach, you see Trayvon Diggs right there kind of making that tackle. He made his second straight Pro Bowl. Three seasons in the league, he's got 17 picks. Some people say he gambles for interceptions. I don't care what some people say. I want to know what the greatest corner ever <laughs> says about Trayvon Diggs. What do you see in his game? Hey, man, the kid has instinct, athleticism. You see him going, he's shadowing the best. So he's going from side to side. He's playing against their one, which is Mike Evans. This is going to be a good matchup. I can't wait to see how this plays out. But I love the kid. He makes plays, and he's very confident. Uh, he's an asset to that team. He's an asset to the secondary, and you can't play with him because you continuously play with him. He's going to get you sooner or later. And you, Coach, you just mentioned Mike Evans, the guy's 6'5". He's 231 pounds. He's obviously bigger and more physical than any defensive back that he's going to go against. And so 
you know, as yeah. a cornerback in your mindset, you know, how do you game plan and how do you play against a receiver of that size? Well, uh, I, I really want to go outside in. I, I want to see the ball coming because if you let him get uh, your inside and he's outside, he's going to go up over your back shoulder and go get that ball. Mike Evans is, is unbelievable, but he's so big and have so much body, you got to get your hands on him and disrupt the route. Big guys, long guys, lengthy guys like that, they have a problem with stopping and starting on the routes and picking up their feet. So you want to make him get un, uh, as uncomfortable as possible. Shoot, the Cowboys are doing a good job versus Tom. Both quarterbacks, what's going on right now, guys? <laughs> Come on, you guys are going oh, no. What's going to happen? Any of these guys completed a pass? <laughs> no, it's a, it's, a defensive, uh, it's a defensive game. I mean, um, we brought you on here to talk offense. You know, it's all defense so far. So. <laughs> They're a defensive yeah. game, man. What did both coordinators do? Saving it? Are they saving it? Yeah. Like, come on, coordinators. By the way, it's the, it, it is the playoffs, right? Let's go. Stay with us, Coach. Right. Stay with us. I come will. on, Eli. Let's go. Give Dak a pep talk. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're waiting for our first first down here. So we got a defensive uh, battle going on with Coach Prime. Uh, Coach, obviously you were on the Cowboys for five seasons. You were on their last championship team. And the media and fans are always talking about the high expectations for the Cowboys. And you played on four other teams. And obviously all players want to win. But why do you, people say there's more pressure to win in Dallas? I, I don't believe that one one bit. Um, the expectation is to win in Dallas. You got to understand, Coach Jones. I, I said Coach Jones being funny. Uh, Jerry Jones, uh, the one of the best owners that ever lived. Jerry has a innate ability to make the fans believe that the Cowboys have a chance every year to win the Super Bowl. I don't care what it looks like. We believe that they have a shot. I truly believe that they do. They could get past this game. I, I see them going against Philly in the championship game, and it's going to be a great one. Um, they have all the pieces. They just got to put it together and make it happen. You know the Eagles play the Giants next week, right? You're, you're aware of that? Yeah, you, yeah. Eagles are going to win. You know that, right? I, I know you. you come on. That's just like that. That's just like Peyton. That. Hey, that's just he like, knows yeah, the NFC on. East. Like, Peyton, he knows who's you playing. You don't see Peyton he on here talking about Indy. Do Peyton get on here talking about Indy? Huh? Thank you. No. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let it go, Eli. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> nice throw there by Dak. Hey, Coach, uh, earlier in the year, you kind of said we need to hear from Dak. Tell us kind of what you meant by yeah. that. Uh, this is the year, man. This is the year you got to step up, you got to step out. You know, quarterback, when you get a big bank, you get a big check, the expectation is, is, is broader. Everyone expects you to do what you got to do. Not the running back, not the line. They don't give a darn who you got in front of you. Eli faced that for years. They don't give a darn who you got in front of you. Get the job done. When you're making the type of money the quarterback's are making, get the job done. And this is the year Dak has to get the job done. I like that last play, Peyton. You know, just play action. You know, just two-man routes, let them throw a comeback, just, you know, fully protected, get in rhythm, and a good play. That, that's when Dak's at his best, when he can see things, he get that play action, he knows where he's going, he can step in, you know, so hopefully that gets him, gets him going here. You know, right? All right, good job yeah. not forcing it. You know, that's where he gets in trouble sometimes. He's kind of that second hit, yep. and he can force things. Good job just taking that check down, go get five or six yards. Third and five Both here. quarterbacks are struggling. Both teams, are, they're first struggling on first down, guys. First Every time we look it up, what, is, is second and eight, you know, great uh, <laughs> rough in the pass. First of all, guys, come on, man. You can't even touch you guys anymore. You got, Don't you guys want to play right now? Don't <laughs> yes, Tell the truth. Don't sure. you guys want to play yes. right now? Like, this is ridiculous. Yes. This is the this Oh, is my, the look era. at this. Where, this where's the roughing? Era. Where is the roughing? Where is Laid the off. roughing? He hit him in the helmet a little bit. That's all. He, he's kind of swiped. A little helmet. bit. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Has Let's eligible. just put a flag on him and just put a buzzer on him, and you just got to push the buzzer <laughs> and it honks. Okay, let's just do that. Let's just do that. <laughs> hey, D, hey, D I showed, saw a great picture of you and Michael Irvin, the original number 88 for the Cowboys. You were teammates with Michael. Of course, you played against him as well. We see C.D. Lamb. Number 88 for the Cowboys, a rising superstar. What makes him so special, you think? Look, 
See, CD is a go-getter. He, he's the type of guy that uh, can play inside, can play outside. He can catch across the middle. He can stretch the field. Uh, but let's not get uh, 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 let's not get out of hand. Michael Irvin is Michael Irvin. That's a whole different category. Okay, let's just keep <laughs> that straight. Let's keep that in perspective. Michael Irvin was Michael Irvin. The heartbeat, the mentality. He was Dallas Cowboys. He, he was the Dallas Cowboys. Michael Irvin was everything. Practice on the field, off the field. Off the field and off the field, he was everything. <laughs> I love Mike. I love that playmaker, man. He made me. He made me better. Hey, coach. Hey, coach. In the red zone, when you were a player, did you want to just you know line up against the best receiver and say, "Hey, I want to play man to man and let me just lock him down right here"? Or, or did you like when zone was called? Was that like an off play? Sometimes as quarterback, no, you kind of no, say, "Hey." I we got a run play. This is, you know, we're going to call it, run it. It's like an off play for us. Is cover two like an well, off play for you a, almost? <laughs> no, no, no. I had a playbook that had 16 photos. My playbook had 16 pictures <laughs> of the receiver I was covering every week. That's it. It wasn't, it wasn't nothing else to talk about. Let, let, that's all we're going to do. I don't need to learn this. I don't need to learn that. And I'm not bumping. Let's the stop. guy goes in motion. Oh, go. great, great scene. Great that's scene. Great, great, job. Kind of great job. Great job. Well, out good scene, job. Mate. It wasn't a, 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 wasn't a did true did a good job holding dive, the safety. It was just a widened, a widened up seam. Did a good job holding that safety, D.I. Right? Board. He held, he held, yeah. it, held that safety backside, and he drove it on him because sometimes that corner kind of overlaps, right, falling off. He drove it in the hole. That was a good yep. throw by Dak. Watch the eyes right here. He, he knows coverage. he's going there. He knows he's yeah. going there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good it, drive it was, right it, there. It was like kind of a flatten up. It looked like a yep. flatten up, yeah. and that, that safety jumped it a little bit. Yeah. Good drive right there. You know, ran the ball, had play action. Obviously, the penalty helped, but just efficient. Ball was getting out on time. He missed it. He missed he misses it. an extra missed point. It. How do you miss an Jeez. extra point? That's the only job you got. Like, that. how do you do that? <laughs> wow. All right, stay with us, Coach. We'll be back, see if the, uh, the Bucks can respond and get, get a first down themselves. Welcome back. Good answer there by the Cowboys. Good drive. Dak was definitely in rhythm. I talked to Mike McCarthy, E. Dion. Mike talked about Dak sort of enjoying the drop back, slowing his drop down. When Dak gets in trouble, he gets moving too quick. His feet are kind of out of rhythm, and he's made some tough decisions. So he was in rhythm right there, especially on that touchdown throw. Eli, show us what happened on that touchdown right there. Yeah, right here, Pete. You can see basically – you're going to have C.D. Lamb kind of running an out-and-up seam and the tight end on a little out-and-up seam. And you're just reading off this middle safety. So you can see Dak's dropping back. He, he's going to look, just kind of look at C.D., see if he likes it. But in looking at him, he moves this safety, and he knows he's got zone coverage. He can come back to the tight end right there, and it makes a nice throw. So a great read by Dak. Guys, what do you want to do right here? After your defense just gave it up, you guys are quarterback, and what are you trying to do right here? This series. All right, Pay, break us down. Just one more note on Dak, Eli. He definitely knows he's coming back to the tight end the whole time. He looks left, one hitch, two hitch. He's still holding the safety. He flips his hips more, and then he drives the throw. And right, Dion, he's got to drive it. If he floats it, that corner could overlap and knock it out. So a lot of good stuff there by Dak there on that touchdown. All right, Dion, what were you saying about about uh, uh, what Tom needs to do just, here? They just gave up a touchdown. They just gave up a touchdown. You guys are some of the greatest quarterbacks to play the game. What are you saying to your OC? Like, what do you want to come out and establish right here? Yeah, I'd like to come back. Yeah, completions, right? You know, rhythm. I'd like to go first down, second down, first down, Dion. This, you know, first down, second down, third down, every single series, that gets old, right? I mean, the Cowboys are playing on that. So, hey, if on first and 10, we don't get, you know, 10 yards, uh, let me get it on that second down so we can get in the rhythm and now put the Cowboys on their heels. But I think, you know, Tampa needs to come back and at least get a couple of first downs here. The Cowboys are going zone. Can they make a tackle? Check down. Oh, what a great play. Yeah, great play. Go. Good job. Great you know, play. Good job by Tom right there, just knowing, hey, they dropped eight. They dropped, you know, only rushed three. 
Hey, he wanted to try to, he had time to get the ball down the field, but nothing was there. Hey, he still can take my check down, let my guy, you know, get the ball in his hand, see if he can make a play. So good job by him, good job by the running back, making a guy miss, getting the first down. Hey, Dion, have you gotten to see Parsons a little bit? I mean, he plays in, he plays linebacker. He oh could probably God. play safety He's if he had to, everything. right? Yeah. The, the kid is unbelievable, always shows up to play, got a motor that's unbelievable. It's certain uh, guys in the NFL that you, you you put on the board and you look for that type of guy, the body structure, the size, height, all the measurables in the motor. Uh, everyone is looking for Parsons. Everyone is looking for that guy with a motor like that that's relentless like he is. And if you're playing corner and you have a guy like him, I mean, do you feel like, you know, you can be a little more – Aggressive and flat-footed, knowing that quarterback just no. can't hold it that long, mm -mm. right? No, you ain't thinking about that, man. You know he, he may not get home. They might chip him. <laughs> you can't even factor that thing in because they may chip him. They may do all kind of things. Trust me, I, I had a Charles Haley, uh, Ricky Jackson, Jumpy Gathers. I played with some guys that could really get after the, the quarterback. But you're not counting on them, just like they're not counting on you. <laughs> And do you like to play press, coach, or are you, are you a, a press guy, press. or do you you know mix it up, play some off, or oh, you want to guy. get get your hands on them? Man, guys, I played my second year in the league. Uh, great completion, by the way, the first down. My second year in the league, I, we were playing against the Washington Redskins, and Doug was lighting us up. Doug Williams, my hero, was lighting us up, and I think uh, Art Monk. I bumped over. They got me in the slot. He ran a stutter go. I didn't even look back. I knew it was a touchdown. Come off the field, the coach said, "What happened?" I said, "He got me." He got me. For the rest of the game, for the rest of my career, I went and bumped. Bumped. I bumped. And every time I was beat, even against your that guy at the top of the screen, Peyton Manning, I was off looking in the darn backfield. So I get mad every time I give it up when I'm looking in the darn backfield. That's on me. If you're going to beat me, beat me my way when I'm bumping. But when I've given it up, it's because I've been off looking in the darn backfield. Peyton yeah. often talks about his touchdown that he Not threw true. against you. He, 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 yeah. he, I mean, it's oh, it, was a, it was a great moments. play action. Oh, no, it was a great play. I, I don't, first of all, I don't know why I was even looking in the backfield. It's not like I was going to go up there. You know, yeah. that was my home running, running, back? running that thing. No, I, they didn't pay me. You look at my shoulders. They made for suits. They're not made for that. <laughs> I wasn't going up there to do that anyway. I don't. I don't even know why I even contemplate it. I'm looking the in the back. He has the clip on hand. Here it is. Yep. Uh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Look, look, I'm not even in the. I'm not oh, even yeah. in oh. the. Look, I'm looking in the backfield. I'm not even. And you know, the sad thing about it, we went to the sideline and our defensive coach cursed our safety out for you know not being in the middle of the field. I said that wasn't him. That was me. That was me. I, I get us back. But then I, I took a punt back like, down to the two yard line and we scored. And I said, okay, I'm even. All right, I mean, I'll square. let's go back I like that. and let's go. And we squared it. I like that. Yep. I like that. I talked to Dan Quinn. He said, like you showed earlier, Coach, that Diggs is definitely going to travel with Evans, right? That's a, that's a you know, that's mm -hmm. Dallas's best corner on, on uh, Tampa's best corner. I mean, for a corner like that, though, that's used to playing on one side, is that different going to the other side, or, or do you get enough reps on both sides uh, it, throughout training it's, camp. It's different mentally. You got to trick your mind. With sometimes you put the outside foot up, sometimes the other foot, and it's just you got to trick your mind that you're always on the same side. The the problem is you got to send Mike Evans in motion, and yeah, the, 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 it, it's hard to practice the bump outs. And okay, now when I come over and I'm traveling, am I flat or am I hook curl or what am I or am I straight man? Those are the type of things you got to do when he's traveling with Mike Evans like it is right now. Peyton, I, think that was clear. Peyton, Dallas. I think that was I think that was it's one of Dallas's kind of new defenses right there. They did like a bear defense, so they cover up all the offensive linemen. Micah Parsons is playing like the Mike linebacker. He blitzes, so he gets matches up on the running back. They drop and they play Tampa two out of it, kind of an invert, and uh, obviously made made Brady flush right there and throw it away. So. You know, pretty good, pretty good defense disguise, and that's what they want. If they can get Micah Parsons matched up on a running back in protection, I mean, that's that, you know, that that's pretty good defense. If you can you can figure that out, that's not what Tampa wants wants to occur. Yeah. Dan Quinn said anything where Tom has to have a little extra look post snap. Tom's at his best when he knows what he's doing with the ball. As soon as he gets it, he has to take one extra peek. Maybe somebody gets home by then. 
That looked too Guys, easy. That what, was, that, what that was your saying, off coverage. That was no, your no. off coverage, Dion. What, what I, no, no. What happened? What happened? They just they put motioned, him in motion. They motioned he motioned over. Soft. He had to bump out. Okay, now you got to back off him and you got to think about the coverage. There you go. There you go. That's what they got to do. They're able to complete the ball against this guy because he can play the game really well. You got to motion Evans and get him traveling. It, is it hard to continue to, is it hard to continue to play bump and run from those tighter splits when they yes. motion? Do you have to yes. you have to soften a little bit? Yeah. Yep. You got to soften him a little bit because you could be getting picked. You could be, you know, he's running this under. It's easy when he's just out wide. Oh. Ooh. I think the Bucs are done running the ball, Pate. I think, they, I think they've surrendered the run game, and it's, it's straight <laughs> pass now. They've already they, they ran it a few times. They've, they've gotten lost yard, I think, every time except one. I think now it's a, it's a pass fest. And what makes it hard, Dallas can now play all this junky defense. They can play these new looks. They're not going to play you – know, they're playing straight pass and can, you know, disguise things and try to confuse Tom. That's, that's that the lucky. goal now. That was lucky there. The old sprint right throwback all the way to the left is uh, he got lucky on that one, coach. Yeah, but the receiver to the near didn't, didn't never he never cleared. Right. I'll take that. Right now I'll take that. Third and short, I'll take yep. that. A little slant flat, just getting out quick, right? He saw the, the the nickel was eight yards deep. You know you can't throw a slant when the nickel's so deep that you're not gonna be able you're not to hold it. So hey, get, get the flat. Go get seven yards, six yards, and make it third and four. So even uh, Evans goes to the slot. Diggs is going with him still. Dion, right? Doesn't matter if he's inside or outside, right? Yep. You're following their best not, guy not wherever he goes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But he could be playing man. He could be playing zone. You never know. Got it. Like two man. Uh -oh. Trailing him. Uh -oh. Nice play. Ooh, nice imp improv. Nice improv. Cowboys had the right call right there. They should have. Everybody was, everybody was covered. Tom was he double pumped about three times. They're faking the screen, trying to throw the sucker. Ah, oh. yeah. Sure, they'll it run the ball right here. here. You? Yeah, it gets tighter. You think so? <laughs> it, it gets tighter. It, it gets tighter. You know, sometimes I never minded when you it was on the three yard line and you kind of had a false start. You know, it took you back to the eight yard line just to give you a little more room. So, because, you know, that end zone is just not much room right there. Nobody's backing up. Hey, Coach, stay with us and see what happens Eli. after this possession, after this uh, commercial. Let's we'll see if they score here. Stay with us. Coming back. Welcome back. We'll see if the Bucks finally hand the ball off here, Coach. Be alert for the fade or the back shoulder as a corner. How do you play that back shoulder fade? B bump him to the outside. Get to the outside shoulder. I mean, you can line up head up, but you want to jump to the outside. Uh, everybody's throwing the back shoulder fade. You know that. And you guys have to put this in a particular spot. So I don't know why guys get in the inside and you know darn well the back shoulder fade is coming, which it's gives coming, you a, a, right. a two-way throw. Yeah. You guys can throw it to the back corner. You can put it on the back shoulder. Hey, that's, that's that, kind of one of those. Receiver, go, go ahead, E. Go ahead, E. That's one of those receivers is going to the flat, you know, uh, and the other receivers are going to block forward. It's like a run play. You, I don't think you can run that at Parsons. If you're running that way and he's to the left, I think you gotta, you got to check out of it and get to something else. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, 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 Tom, no. You got three. Don't give away the three. Of course, they tried to play action, Pate. They didn't, he didn't have it. That's Tom's first interception in the red zone, I think, since he's been in Tampa. I don't think he's thrown one in three years. That is not like him, Dion. Wow. That was a, that was the first no, guy I won open. Not whatsoever. He wanted kind of that kind of that uh, crack post down here, right, E? Yeah, he wanted to yeah to the right. Just uh, Godwin coming in there. He kind of had the safety bite. Just the linebackers, the weak side linebacker didn't didn't bite much, and then all of a sudden Godwin Godwin's scrambling for him. He's going back to the pylon. I think he thought he was going to keep going on the over route. Like yeah, Mike Evans didn't like even look back for the ball. It, Mike Evans it was, looked like Evans was yeah, he blocking. Was blocking. What did he they were blocking. Yeah, they, he didn't even look back for the ball, so they must have get the check. But the saddest thing about Man. that whole procession of plays, you 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 abandon the run, like Peyton said. You you've abandoned the run. 
They've abandoned it. No more run. I mean, I mean, they've, I mean, they've kind of rested Fournette these last last few weeks of the season. I thought, like you said, kind of kind of for this day, right? You know, he ought to be fresh, and they haven't even. Right. Uh, he's going to be fresh going into the off season if they don't start giving him the ball. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Peyton, we, 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 call, we called the Tampa, you know, Tampa Saints game. And they've kind of been known all season. Slow starts, all of a sudden get behind, and then they say, all right, Tom, it's fourth quarter, you're down, two scores, go, go win it for us. I mean, sometimes that can work, but sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's a risky, risky way to play, and, and, you know, obviously you think they needed to keep this game close. Otherwise, you know, Dallas has the ability to score a lot and get turnovers and, and be disruptive with the lead when they know you're not going to run the ball. So that could be a costly turnover. Obviously, all red zone turnovers are costly. Third and one. You like the sneak? I like the sneak. He's going to follow him. He's going to get behind him. The tight end push. Oh, they fake it. Fake it. They fake it. I like the play. What What do you call that when the quarterback sneak and you tell the tight end to get behind you and and just push you in. I, I thought that was illegal for a while. It used to be. It used to be illegal, right, Dion? You couldn't. You couldn't aid the quarterback, and now they've changed it. Can you do that in college? Can you have that kind of help the quarterback on the sneaks? You, you could do during there everything. You could help the quarterback. You could help the kids get into school. You could give them whatever you want. You know, you could give them. You, you can could. Pay you them. could just give you them children if you want now. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah, yeah, pay them handsomely. You can pay them more than the staff is being paid. <laughs> Quarterback sneaks the <laughs> easiest thing going on in college football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the last worry in college football. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to Mike McCarthy. I talked to, I talked to McCarthy. You know, he has a lot of respect for these these linebackers. He said he really wanted Dallas to be disciplined in their splits and their linemen's not giving any type of tips or tendencies because these guys can figure out these linebackers. They play together a bunch. They can figure things out. They're showing pressure right here, it looks like. Surprise, yeah. I'm surprised with that loaded box right there. Pay went with the went with the run. I don't know what he saw, but usually he's kind of he doing some check with me. He got up to the line quickly, did a dummy cadence, and then saw something that he want he wanted there. But it seems like a lot of people in the box to get to a run. It really I don't had, think either the quarterbacks are really confident. Yeah, I don't think they're crazily confident right now with throwing the football, either team. Everything you see, right, is between the, between the hash marks. Everything is between the hash marks. Yeah, yeah. yeah and here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a very careful game right here. I get it. I get it. That's we might happened. as well yeah. talk about the documentary. Can we might as well just talk about our, Can we show the Darren documentary? Because this is ridiculous, man. This is. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Uh oh. We're trying some quick game. I'd like to see Dak. I'd like to see Dak run a little more. You know, obviously he had some injuries during the season, but like Dion said in the playoffs, man, let's don't, let's don't save anything. He's good with his legs. I'd like to see him running a little bit more than he has. Yeah, another kind of dummy cadence. So they're going right? dummy cadence, there? yeah. And, 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 and Eli, they go dummy cadence, and Kellen Moore still has time to talk in his ear and kind of tell him what to get to. That's kind of how they do that. That's how they do their no huddle. Dion, y'all do that, that as well, right? Get yeah. up there, go no huddle, give the give the quarterback the play. After the I thought that Dak, well, he, you, he you thought barely, there was going to be barely. enough Cowboy fans there at the game where he could get into some of that no huddle. He could get into <laughs> the communication. And, uh, you know, maybe even not have to do even some silent counting gun. They could, you know, if they had some jet sweet stuff that he could still communicate and they could, they could hear him. So he was pretty confident that the Cowboys would be well represented down in Tampa. The Cowboys travel, don't they, D.I.? They travel pretty well. They travel well. One, yes, Lord, one of the best traveling teams ever in the history of the game. Watch how quick these, this ball gets out of here. One, two, let it there go, go, let it go. There you go. There we go. There we go. In between there. the hash, in between the hashes, that, in between the they hashes, the it. quarterbacks aren't throwing outside the numbers today. Outside like the hash marks, like nobody's throwing out there. Just cover four. 
Just cover four, four across, but those safeties were soft, right? Cover four, I like to see them a little more kind of at the sticks. Deion doesn't know what cover four is. He just guards the, uh, the receiver. <laughs> yeah, we already went through that. You can say whatever yeah. coverage it is, I got the receiver. I got Guys, a man. Believe it or not, studying offenses my whole life, I turned into an OC in high school. So I was calling plays <laughs> offensively because I knew all the darn defense. A great play call. Great play call. Great play call right there. That was set up by the run, though, right, right, Coach? I mean, they've been running the ball better. Now your nakeds are going to work a lot better. We got some bite there. We got some. We got some bite, right? Yeah, that was a great, yeah, really hard, hard run play action. No one blocking that defensive end. Kind of a true naked getting out there. Run the ball. Run it again. I don't think they've run it yet, Pete. They've thrown it every every play this drive. Now they run it. Dak lead blocker. Doug, Doug lead blocking. I mean, I like that. He didn't really block anybody, but, but he was in there. He threw. He, he dove. I figure if you're oh, willing to lead block, offense. you should run the ball a little bit more, right? It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you want the reward. You're just getting the whole reward, getting the whole pot, not half of it. You don't get a hit. Make, make it worth your while. Hey, Dion, when you came over yes. to the offensive side of the ball, did you have some red zone plays when you played receiver? Just for you? Yeah, yeah, I had fade, just fade, fades. Like that, fades, or uh, I think we had a reverse on a couple times. One time Monday night, I was scheduled to go at quarterback, and we just never got to it. You know, I was going to oh. run the option with Emmett. And, I, man, I was so I was ready for that play all game, and we never got to it. And I kept just, hey, coach, is under it about center, that time? Under center or shotgun? Yeah, under center. Matter of fact, against the Giants. Under center. I under center it. as well. I love that. Yeah, I was First practicing all week, man. Under, just calling the plays. <laughs> John 316! John 316! <laughs> <laughs> oh! You got CD. Mike got CD man to man up top. There you go. Good run. Oh. Good run. Get some yards yeah, back. Go get 10. Now you've got to, hey, second and goal from the five. You can still run it again. You can go play action. You got, you know, you got chances right here. I hate, I hate holding calls inside the 10 yard line, right? That's just, for the most, most part, it's like guaranteed you're kicking a field goal. But if you get, next play you run for 10 yards, you got a chance. But Dion, you felt like, you know, defense. after playing defense all those years, it kind of made you a better offensive coordinator, right? Because you kind of know what yeah. hurts the defenses, right? Yeah. Here's your option. Yeah, Here's your you, option. You know what? That was your option right exactly there. That was tentative. Deion to Emmett. That was Deion to Emmett right there. Yeah, and I did just what I would have done in the game. I'd have kept it. I promise you, I'd have <laughs> kept it. You're keeping it. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, oh, well, automatically. It really, it really wasn't that. an Emmett, option. Emmett already it knew that. A, it was just a, a <laughs> Deion run. Yeah, it was my option to see how I wanted to score. <laughs> it was my option. That's what it was. <laughs> What do you like here? You like a run here, coach? Do I play action? Hey, are you in four down territory? I got to run. I got to run. I got to run here. Oh. Okay, Go guys. I'm here, kicking Dion. right here. I'm not. If I'm. No, no. You're if kicking. I'm coaching, I'm kicking right here. Because I'm kicking it because the, I, the defense has been doing a great job. They got a shutout going. I'm kicking. I need nine because going. I missed an extra point. I got to kick it. I don't know why. <laughs> you like you miss it right here. Dude. They got nothing. They've had you a great the drive, the right? Had the turnover. Right? You, give, you give the Bucks all the momentum if you miss it, right? Yeah. If you miss it, what are you guys doing? You guys running the passing it right here. I'm throwing here Best now. Best play action. Best play I'm action throwing. you got. There it is. They're running. Oh. They bit. They bit. bit. They bit. Oh, my They're God. Naked. How can you not know that's coming? Wow. They're naked. How can you not know that's coming? You love it. Everybody you love it naked. Did. You love it naked, Pete. Hey, it worked. It worked for me about Who once every five years because nobody expected. <laughs> nobody expected it. They all bit. Who, who, who scored the most out of you guys down there in the red zone? Which one of you guys? I, I, don't, feel think, like I, I, don't, I don't think it's a I got, stat I, we want to share. 
<laughs> yeah, not something. Archie. Archie, Archie scored the most, Dion. Yeah. Oh, hey, Coach, hey, thanks for coming on, man. You're the best. Another, Good hey, luck. love you guys. Hey, Peyton, if thanks, you see a couple uh, brothers thanks, pull Coach. up in your Good driveway, it's, it's me and my son, okay? I like it. It's me and my son, Peyton. It. If you see a couple brothers put up in the driveway, it's me and my son. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Come on in. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> right, remember that. Remember you said that. All right, buddy. Later. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck. All right.